All right, this is just a test to see what it would take to set up a custom node scraper using Chrome Puppeteer that will allow us to scrape either a CSS or an XPath selector. We'll give it a custom domain. We'll tell it what we want to scrape. Uh, and then we will see if it can generate the output JSON that we are looking for. So I've got some code here. Let's go ahead and create a folder for it. See if we can modify it into what we need and see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a folder. So I'm going to say this is Discord Scraper. And what do we have here? I need to touch models.js, scrape.js. And just my index file here. So over in VS Code, I'm going to go ahead and open this folder. So in scrape.js, I'm going to put the content of our scrape file. That makes a lot of sense. In models.js, I'm going to copy this in, but we'll be modifying that. So as you can see here, it is a module that's exporting an array, and each of the items here is an object that represents one domain. So we're only going to test one, so I'm going to remove one here. I'm going to call that Beer Advocate. Uh, save that for now, and then in index.js, we are going to copy this code. So here we're pulling in the scraper from scrape.js, here we're pulling in the models from models.js, and then for each of the models, we are going to run process links, which takes each URL that is present there. So here we've got URLs. So if you had a thousand different pages on this domain, uh, that would be where you could put the different URLs in, but this is for each scraping model, I guess. So if you had multiple different types of pages on here, you might want a different, uh, model for each type of page um, and then yeah I process models so I'm gonna in this code I'm just going to process everything that's in this file even though you could uh, import the models and just run whatever you needed through one link at a time or one model at a time uh, let's see if I can get this working so I'm also going to do npm install puppeteer. I think that's the only thing we pull in. Require puppeteer. All right, so what is it that we are trying to scrape? I've got it here in Discord. Here. here is an example page. So in our model, I'm going to say beeradvocate.com and we are going to grab something called ABV. It's going to be an XPath selector, which I'll paste in in a second. And the URL here that we want to scrape is actually this particular page. So I'm going to just look in the chat for this XPath selector that I wrote because it was not something I want to try to figure out a second time if I can copy and paste it. So here is our model for Beer Advocate scraping the ABV using our XPath selector here. Here is scrape.js and index.js. So what happens if we do node index.js? Hopefully it's scraping. Aha. Uh -huh. So it actually looks like we have is that scraped to a file. I don't think so. No. So we have that here. Can we pipe that through? Does that work? Okay, so 
I'm just going to run it through Prettier myself. Uh, whoops. I don't know what I'm doing. Should be echo. No, that's not right. Okay. No, that's not going to work. But I'll just paste it in here. So we have an array. And then for that domain, we scraped this URL. We ended up with this array here. And that's the content that we got. So looking at this, it looks like there's a few different text nodes. So I'm going to try to tweak that. Not sure if that'll work or not. There you go. So just by adding this uh, first child or first node thing, we've got just that one text node here that comes after the B element that contains ABV. So that is the code that I'll be uploading here in a second. Um, this is what we successfully scraped. So then for that domain, we scraped this URL. Got that ABV. And there you have it.